Questions 21 through 25 on the 2014 Grade 8 Goss Math Contest. The diagram shown consists of circles with radius 1 centimeter and semicircles with radius 1 centimeter. The total shaded area is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 full circles, so 6 times pi r squared, that total area is going to be, plus we have 1, 2, 3, 4 semicircles, and each semicircle has an area of pi r squared divided by 2. So this is what we have to calculate. So 6 pi r is 1, and then this 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2 pi r is 1. And this is 6 pi. This is 2 pi, and therefore total is 8 pi. So number 21, the answer is E. Beginning with a 3 by 3 by 3 cube, a 1 by 1 by 1 cube is cut from one corner, and a 2 by 2 by 2 cube is cut from the opposite corner. As shown, in centimeters cube, what is the surface area of the resulting solid? Well, we've got a little bit of a shortcut here, much needed. When you cut out this cube right here, something interesting happens, and I'll explain it. The surface area does not change. Why? Because remember, before you had a cube like that, right? Now watch, when you cut it out, this top is the resulting surface area, but it's exactly the same as the bottom that is missing, that's been cut out. This side is part of the resulting solid, but it's exactly the same as the part that was cut out. That's like That was like that. And this part in here is part of that resulting solid, and it is exactly the same as the part that was cut out, which would have been right there. And you can use the same sort of argument on the other side. So all you really have to do is figure out the surface area of the solid uh, in the beginning, before the cuts. And that surface area is just 6 times the area of each side, which would have been a 3 by 3 side. So 6 times 9, which is 54. And if you can recognize that shortcut, it can make it a lot easier for you. So number 22, the answer is E. The sum of the first 100 positive integers is 50-50. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up until 100. What is the sum of the first positive 100 odd integers? Okay. Well, you can do this with or without a formula. So, for example, it's going to be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 up until what number? That's the question, right? Well, they want the first 100 positive odd integers. So if you have the first 200 numbers from 1 to 200, 100 of them are odd, and the other 100 are even. So that means that if you want the first 100 odd numbers, you have to go up until 200. But not 200, 199, because 200 is, of course, even. So this is the sum that they're really looking for. Now you can do this manually, and I do not recommend that because that would take forever. So now I have to show you a shortcut way of handling this. Now some of you may know the formula. There is a formula, but if you don't, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to know the formula. I'll just show you. What you do is you pair them, the first and the last. The second and the second last, which would be 197. The third and the third last, which would be 195 and then so on, right? Dot, dot, dot. And then you notice that each of these has a sum of 200. So that's it. All you have to do for now is figure out how many of these pairs were there. Well, there was 100 numbers, and therefore 50 pairs. Correct? No trick. So 50 times 200. Since there's 200 of them, uh, sorry, there's 50 of them, and each of them equals 200. So 50 times 200 is 10,000. And that's it. The formula, by the way, just in case you're wondering, the sum of the first uh, n odd integers 
is n plus 1 times n plus 1 divided by 4. And if you put uh, n equals 199 into this, you'll see it, it equals uh, 10,000. So either way, 23, the answer is B. Grids are formed using 1 by 1 squares. The grid shown to the right contains squares of size 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, and 4 by 4 for a total of exactly 30 squares. Which of the following grids contains exactly 24 squares? All right, before I jump into the answer choices, I'd like to talk a little bit about this guy right here. The number of 1 by 1 squares, the number of 2 by 2 squares, 3 by 3, and 4 by 4. Well, the number of 1 by 1 squares, that's easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, right? You just count them, and it's 16. The number of 2 by 2, there's 1 here, there's 1 here, there's 1 here, and so on. You just keep counting like that, and when you do, you get 9. All right? And number of 3 by 3, same thing. 1 here, there's 1 here, there's 1 here, and there's 1 there. So that's 4. And the number of 4 by 4, well, there's only one, the whole square. So this is a total of 30. And they told you that in the question, but I wanted to break it down. Because for the answer choices, we've got to do the exact same thing. So for A, B, C, D, and E, I've got to do the same thing. 1 by 1, 2 by 2, and 3 by 3, and 4 by 4. And at the end, I've got to add them all up and see which one equals 24. All right, well, the first thing I notice is that each of these answer choices has at least one or two uh, uh, blocks, uh, one by one blocks taken out. So that means there's no way for me to create a four by four in any of them. So that makes it easy. Let's concentrate on the other ones. Counting now, the number of one by one are 15, 15, 14, 14, and 14. So that's the easiest one. Now what you have to do, I'm not going to walk you through it because that's uh, it's painful to listen to me walk you through this. You know, oh, here's one and here's two. You can do that. I'll just write the numbers. It's going to be 8, 7, 7, 7, 7. All right? And the number of 3 by 3, it's 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2. So now we count the total. When we count the total, this is 25, this is 24, and these are all 23. So they're saying, which one has 24 squares? Well, that's answer B. So number 24 is this one right here. Residents were surveyed in order to determine which flowers to plant in the new public garden. A total of N participated in the survey and people exactly nine out of 14 uh, nine over 14 of those surveyed said that the color of the flower was important exactly seven over 12 of those surveyed said that the smell of the flower was important in total 753 people said that both the color and the smell were important how many possible values are there for n well we need to create a little bit of a venn diagram and don't worry it's not that bad and I'll explain what I'm doing here. So first and foremost, let's talk about the fact that we have n as our total number of people participating. And I will call this a, b, and c, those sections. And this circle represents the color, the people who felt that the color was important. And this circle represents the people who felt the smell was important of the of the flower so now we are told a few things that a plus b which is all the people in the color circle represent 9 over 14 of n and we are also told that b plus c which are all the people in the smell category the people who felt that smell of the flower was important that is equal to 7 over 12 of n. All right? Now, one thing you'll notice is that 
these are all integers, right? A, B, and C represent the number of people, so they have to be integers. So the only way they can be integers if is n if n is a multiple of 12 and a multiple of 14. So 12 and 14 is what n has to be a multiple of, both of those. So we have to find the least common multiple of 12 and 14. Well, 12 is going to be 2 times 2 times 3, and 14 is 2 times 7. So the least common multiple is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7, and that's 4 times 21, which is 84. So n is of the form 84k. It's got to be some multiple of 84. That's the only way we can make that an integer and that an integer, because a, b, and c are integers. Okay, so now that that is established, let's plug in that value of n. 9 over 14 times 84k, and when you do, you get 54k for a plus b. And when you do the same thing over here, you get b plus c is equal to 7 over 12n, which is 84k, and that gives you 49k for b plus c. All right, so now that that is established, we now look at this part, which says that 50, 753 people said that both color and smell were important. And that number represents B. So B is 753. So that means A is 54K minus B, which is 753. And C is 49K minus B, which is 753. So now let's complete this Venn diagram with the values. Well, B, they gave me in the question 753. A, I just figured out, was 54K minus 753. And C was 49K minus 753. Okay, great. Now we have to figure out how many possible values are there for N. Okay, so that means i got to figure out a upper and lower boundary for my K. So we will first do the upper, and then we'll do the lower, and then we will combine them. So what is going to be the first limit? What is k greater than? What is the sort of the, what is k going to be greater than? That's going to give me sort of the, the lower limit. Well, we know that A is equal to 54K minus 753, and C is equal to 49K minus 753. And both of those obviously have to be integers, so both of them have to be positive. So that's what gives us our lower limit. 54K minus 753 has to be greater than 0. From this, you can get that K is greater than 13.9. And then the other one, 49K minus 753, that's also greater than 0. So that gives me that k is greater than 15.3. So combining these, k has got to be greater than 15.3. So k is greater than or equal to 16, because k has to be an integer also. It represents the value of n. And n is also an integer, because n represents the number of people. So this is our lower limit right here. k has got to be at least 16. Upper limit. Well, upper limit is looking at the fact that a plus b, as we figured out, was going to be 54k, right? We did that right here. a plus b is 54k. And that represents what? The number of people who felt that color is important. So color is important. So the total is 84k. 54k said that color is important. So 54K said color is important, so 30K, which is 84 minus 54, must, or must be the people for whom color is not important, right? So that is the first part of this. So no tricks here. That's just simple sort of 
analysis of these numbers. Now let's turn our attention to this guy right here, which is the people in the smell category. They are basically the people of B and C, B plus C, I should say. And that is 49K. Now, these 49K people include some of these 30K, some or all of these 30K people. So let me write that out because that's an important point. These 49K people include some or all of the 30K people who said that color was not important. So that means that B B basically would be equivalent to 49K minus 30K and therefore that is 19K. And considering this statement, we can conclude that since B is 753, that 753 must be greater than or equal to 19K. And if you do the math here, K becomes less than or equal to approximately 39.6. So in terms of integers, that means that K has got to be less than or equal to 39. So combining, that means K is going to be greater than 16, but less than or equal to 39. Greater than or equal to 16 or less than or equal to 39. So every number from 16 to 39, and that gives me 39 minus 15, which is 24 possible values for K. And each value of K gives me one corresponding value of N. So that's 24 values for K, 24 values for N, and therefore number 25, the answer is D.